question on sequences one two power four minus one by two minus one three power four minus one by three minus one four power four minus one by four minus one ten power four minus one by ten minus one okay. very interesting sequence we can add one power four minus one by one minus one that becomes infinity so that's why we probably not done that so we're going to simplify this first up before we go further can we get a general expression here so take any term here you can call it as m power 4 minus 1 by m minus 1 just remember we are substituting values for m from 2 to 10 not 1 to 10 just remember that m power 4 minus 1 by m minus 1 this is the m plus 1th term and not the mth term but i'm going to simplify this see where it goes and then we'll substitute and find it back again m power 4 minus 1 is m square minus 1 into m square plus 1 divided by m minus 1 or this is m minus 1 into m plus 1 into m square plus 1 by m minus 1 or this m plus 1 into m square plus 1 or this is m cube plus m square plus m plus 1 so 2 power 4 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 is 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 plus 1. 3 power 4 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 is 3 cube plus 3 square plus 3 plus 1 and so on. So we have this expression. So effectively we are adding, we can just do sigma, 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 sigma and then simplify. But remember when you are doing sigma m cube, if you plug in that formula then we are adding every number from 1 cube all the way to 2 cube. Here we will be starting only from 2. So we have to make that adjustment finally. Be very clear about that otherwise we will walk all the way there and then end up marking just the wrong answer. And here this is the six simplification works like this. But in doing this sigma m cube for this question m goes from 2 to 10 not 1 to 10. Sigma m square from 2 to 10 not 1 to 10. 2 to 10, not 1 to 10, 2 to 10, not 1 to 10. I've been particularly anal and stating it over and over again because that is one mistake that is very easy to make and then you walk in and mark around checks. This is the textbook method of doing it. There's going to be a slightly different method. We're listing it down and counting, nothing else. So if you count like this, doing it term by term. So this is 2 plus 1 into 2 square plus 1 square, which is 2 plus 1 into 2 square plus 3. 3 plus 1 into 3 square plus 4, 4 plus 1 into 4 square plus 5 and so on. So this is 2 cube plus 2 square plus 3, 3 cube plus 3 square plus 4, 4 cube plus 4 square plus 5 and so on. Or we are looking at 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube all the way to 10 cube, 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square all the way to 10 square, 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way to 11. So if we add this, this and this, we should get the answer. How do we get this? We can do sigma n n cube from 1 to 10 and then subtract 1. Sigma n square from 1 to 10 and subtract 1. This we can do sum of all terms to 11 and then subtract 3. 11 into 12 by 2 minus 3. So compute each of those terms. Now sum of all terms from 1 to n is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of all squares from 1 square plus 2 square all the way to n square is n to n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. All cube is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. And all these three you should know straight away. And then after this you've got to be very careful substituting the values and finding them out. Not, not, not rocket science but be rigorous and plugging in the values. I'm not going to do the substitution part. It's very simple. This 55 square minus 1. n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 minus 1. This 11 into 12 by 2 minus 3, 1 plus 2 that we are subtracting. So add this, this and this, you get this is the answer. And so, uh, different variants on the same theme. Eventually, you are going to write all of these as some sigma n cube, some times sigma n cube, a times sigma n cube, plus b times sigma n square, plus c times sigma n, plus d times sigma 1, plus a bunch of adjustments wherever you are leaving out some term the first term last term adding three subtracting three all of that any and all of these questions our objective is to be able to write down like this break it down find the general term sum of cubes sum of squares sum of natural number and then adding one alone n times 
different coefficients for each of these be very careful about the detail and then whatever adjustments you do to this final thing before you compute the actual number that's all all of these questions are going to boil down to just that 